With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So we are given with the question which says a coin is placed on a horizontal platform which undergoes vertical simple harmonic motion of angular frequency omega. The amplitude of oscillation is gradually increased. The coin will leave contact with the platform for the first time. So uh, this is the case we can imagine of a elevator moving uh, downwards and a person standing in the elevator. So it feels he feels weightlessness. All right. So uh, when the elevator's cable is cut and elevator starts falling with the acceleration equals to g, so uh, the man or the person inside the elevator feels weightlessness. So it is similar. Uh, uh, it's a kind of similar situation. So let's uh, imagine that a coin is being placed and this platform is let's suppose that moving upward first with an acceleration a. So let's suppose that this is a one extreme position and this is another extreme position and let's suppose that this is our mean position. All right. So uh, let's assume these things and uh, when the uh, and this let's suppose that mass of coin is m. So weight is been acting mg downwards and the normal reaction it will experience in the upward sense. All right. So first let's imagine the lift is moving uh, or the platform is moving upward. So uh, we know uh, in the oscillation, the force is always uh, uh, directed towards the mean position. So even if the body uh, or the platform is moving up, so the force which is acting on the uh, platform will be downward. So in this case, the force that is uh, means uh, the particle which is performing oscillation in that force always act towards the mean position. So the force will always act in the downward direction, even if the particle is moving upward. All right. So in this case we cannot say the particle or the coin will uh, leave the platform even if the particle reaches to the extreme position because weight and force both act in the same direction that is downward so this is the force due to oscillation which is acting downward now uh, let's imagine uh, that the uh, uh, platform is now let's imagine it is moving downward so if we try to draw the same scenario over here let's suppose that this is the coin again the weight is been acting downward mg and uh, now the uh, platform is moving downwards. So suppose that this is our uh, extreme position one and this is our extreme position uh, two. Now, as we can see, the platform is moving uh, downwards. Normal reaction is still in the upward sense. So the force will uh, start acting in the uh, means uh, in the uh, towards the mean position. If the platform is moving downwards, so the force uh, on this body will uh, start moving in. Uh, means applying in the mean towards the mean position so let's not draw it over here just to understand for the sake of understanding i have drawn it over here so when the platform is over something uh, when it reaches to the lowest point so the force acting on this platform will be in the upward sense so it is accelerating down with an acceleration a so in this case as we can see the force and mg are in opposite direction so we can say the coin can leave contact while uh, moving downward. So in this case, there is no possibility of coin to leave the surface. So we can say at highest point, we cannot say the uh, coin will leave the contact. But in the lowest point, it may be possible because the force and the weight are in opposite direction. So we will not consider this case, but we will consider this case when the platform is moving down. So we can write the equation that can be written as it can be written as mg. Uh, minus n and that is equals to a so for uh, leaving the contact normal reaction has to be zero so we can get the value of g as uh, we will get the value of g as a all right and this is what the condition for uh, weightlessness looks like when we consider it for an elevator case so anyways uh, just uh, the value of g we have uh, calculated it as a and we know uh, for particle performing oscillation, the acceleration maximum acceleration uh, for the particle performing acceleration is omega square a. All right. So uh, this is for uh, maximum acceleration for particle performing SHM. All right. Now we can uh, instead of a, we can write here as uh, instead of this, we can write. Therefore, we can say g is equal to nothing but it is. Uh, we can say a omega square 
therefore the value of amplitude can be given as g by omega square so this is the amplitude and at the lowest position so the correct option for an amplitude of g is g by omega square is the right answer and also at the lowest position of the platform so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today